uh, Ben Hall, assistant groundsman. And for you, groundskeeping, how did you get into the industry? Um, it was by chance really. Um, I was actually looking for work at the time and I was on the, the job seeker scheme and luckily for me a bloke that was almost like a family friend um, knew I was interested in cricket and he said look I've got an opportunity to come down like for you to come down to the ground do a little bit of work experience get a little bit paid more money um, and it went from there uh, came down and just enjoyed it straight off and then I applied to to become an apprentice and yeah just kicked off from there so as you say, it sounds like something that you weren't really ever looking for. It wasn't something that you thought, I want to be a groundskeeper when I'm older. But are you glad that's the way it's gone and that's the way you ended up working? Yeah. Um, originally, I was looking to maybe go into the, the like sports coaching role. Um, so I've always wanted to be to be outdoors. Um, and I've always had like a passion of cricket. Um, so really, that transition going into groundsmanship... Um, it wasn't too hard and it, it, it's always interested us and it's given us this, this different sp uh, perspective of how cricket work it's not just obviously playing it is one thing but obviously being a groundsman is another thing so you, you sort of get an understanding for for both sides of the game really as you say a lot of things go on behind the scenes that people won't think about people will just turn up and think the, the wicket's being yeah. prepared itself sometimes yeah. so what, what type of work do you put in to make sure that the wicket is prepared yeah, I think for a lot of people, like you say, it, they just think you, you just sort of turn up and it's it's there. But there is a lot that goes into it. Um, you know, it's not just about going out there cutting grass and what have you. It's known, you know, like the soil signs part of it, the sort of the, the construction of the ground and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's it's quite technical at, at times. Um, like I said, some people just think you go out there cutting grass, but there's, there is a lot more to it. I know a couple of years ago we were looking like if it wasn't for COVID, we wouldn't have got a season on at the start because of all the rain. Is that one of the most challenging things about the job? Definitely, yeah. Um, it is challenging, but it's a good challenge as well. Um, at the end of the day, when it's raining, that's probably when people see us the most. Obviously, when it's days like today, you know, you can be sort of sat out the way and get a, maybe it's a little bit of a more chill time, but when it's raining you know you're out there pulling sheets and stuff like that and you can it sort of just shows that other side of your job um that probably people don't really get to see all the time especially obviously when games are on and on the flip side of that away from the most challenging things what what do you enjoy the most about the job um constant learning um in this job i've i've learned over the years that um you're always learning whether you are an apprentice or even a head groundsman like vic um there's always new technology, new ideas coming about. Um, and some of it is challenging, but that's what I strive to do to try and meet them challenges and, and uh, complete them. And of course, when I see you guys at the games, you always seem to be having a bit of a laugh. Is that one of the good things about the job, the people you meet? Yeah, um, you've, you've got to try and enjoy work the best you can. Um, and you get to see a lot of diverse people in in this job whether that's players coaches uh members that come down and you know it's a that's a good as aspect of the job it, you know you, you learn things from many different people um and that yeah it, it's good and of course grounds week is it nice to see people like yourself being celebrated in the industry definitely yeah um you know there's probably sort of a period where you think most people don't really appreciate what you do um, obviously there's a lot of local league groundsmen that do a lot and, and put a lot of graft in so it's nice to be sort of put on like a pedestal and sort of saying like these are what this is what these guys do and, and stuff like that and just to get the appreciation that we sort of deserve in, in a way. And finally if someone's listening now and they're in a similar position of what you were looking for jobs maybe and then they see a grounds person role pop up what would you say to them how would what would be your recommendations would you say go for it? Yeah, definitely, without a doubt. Um, as Vic touched on, um, he said that obviously the, maybe the salaries are not great to start off with, but the challenges that you get and just sort of the good vibe that you get from completing certain jobs within, 
within the role you know you, you look out there and you can see it all nicely striped up and you know when you get international matches say for example and you get a lot of good press on on the tv saying that the ground looks nice that's when you sort of sit back and you go like i've done that um and for me personally that gives me a massive massive buzz and makes you sort of motivated to keep uh keep going you just mentioned the international match there we've got another one coming up in 2022 a full fixture of cricket what are you most looking forward to about the summer i think it's definitely going to be having the fans back um getting full stadiums in, getting that buzz and atmosphere around the ground, um, showcasing our skills and, and what we do to the, um, to the big stage. Um, yeah, that's, that's sort of my sort of main motivation of doing it. Perfect.